Today we are going to the Grand Palace, but first we are starting out this temple right next to our hotel. We just walked right in. Wow, this place is beautiful. It is so intricate and I can only imagine how much better the Grand Palace is going to be compared to this, but let's explore this place first. We thought that we would start out with this temple because we wanted to compare the Grand Palace with something else, and this is actually free admission. The gold is so beautiful. I also really love this one little tulip right there just poking out of the water. It's so cute. It's really beautiful with this tree right here in the gold. Oh, and it's like, you're supposed to be really quiet in here, which is funny because you can still hear the street pretty loudly, but it does feel like a little sanctuary away from the hustle and bustle. Even though you can still hear it, you can't really see it, so that's nice. One of the really cool things about this temple is that it's actually a functioning Thai Buddhist temple. So there are people like praying and worshiping. We have to take our shoes off before we go inside. The ground is pretty hot. so interesting going into a Buddhist temple because there were people worshiping and praying and there was monks walking around. Jacob and I are Christians so we don't really know what the proper protocol is for when you're going into temples but of course you just want to be as respectful as possible to people in there so we didn't really film that much because I thought that would be weird but we got a few shots of just like the beautiful scenery in there. We walked a little bit and it looks like we can't pass unless we take off our shoes. Guess we're taking them off again. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Let's get over there. You can definitely tell that this is a very local place to go. I think we're the only foreigners here and pretty much all of the signs are in Thai, but there is this one sign in English here that says, please take off your shoes. I believe since so many tourists go to the Grand Palace, pretty much everything is going to be in English. I just saw these stairs, so you can actually go up be really close to this. It looks like these flowers are some kind of offering to the Buddha. The ground is so hot. Ah! There's all these different sculptures on each side. I don't even know what to call this. It's like a, a spire up there. I don't think there's a temple up those steps, but we're gonna go find out. We just climbed to the top. It is really pretty up here, wow. The like sun sparkles off the gold and it's just so beautiful. And as you can see, there's different animals on these corners here. I'm sure if we walk to the other side, we might see some different ones on these corners. Oh yeah, this one has an elephant. And in the fourth corner here, it's a bird, maybe like a falcon. This temple here is actually two separate temples that merged together like in the 1900s. So now we're gonna walk over to the other temple. This is the next temple. And then over there is where we just were. And you can tell the separation of the water right here is actually where the two temples stood. And then I guess they just built these bridges and then they merged into one. We've spotted a monitor lizard just chilling by the water right here. We are leaving 
leaving this temple now and we are going to the Grand Palace and maybe we'll stop for some street food along the way. I really want a smoothie. It's not exactly street food, but sounds good to me. It is so hot. We haven't had anything to drink for like three hours. I am so ready for this. These ones look good. Oh, or this one right here? Yes. We're going to Grand Palace. Uh, how much? 100. Uh, 50? 50. 50 baht. Okay, 5 0. Grand Palace. Uh, yeah, 3. So, how much? I say you want a little baht. No. Oh, you want to go in my bed. Okay. We got in a tuk-tuk. The driver said 100 baht to get there, which is like $3, but I knew that they were charging a lot for that. And so I said, no, 50. And then he agreed. So we hopped in, started driving there. And then he said, oh no, the temple is closed. You can't go in. But I have read about this and it's probably a scam. And so he pulled out his map and said, let's go to another temple and I'll charge you 100. And I said, no, that's okay. So we hopped out. Then we ordered a grab, so now we're waiting on our taxi to show up. And this one cost 60, so I think it was a good deal. I think one of these cars is our guy. Grand Palace. Grand Palace, yes. We're here at the Grand Palace. It looks really big. There's like two different entrances. Hopefully we're going to the right one. We have about three hours here before it closes. And some guy just told us we can't wear sandals in, but Jacob doesn't believe him. It was just some guy on the street that was pointing at our shoes. He says, no, no. We're just gonna go for it. I have no idea how to get in. We think we found the entrance. Not really sure. The first sign that we saw said no pictures and no videos and we were very confused, but then we walked through security and we're like, okay, that makes sense why we can't take any, but now we're inside. I'm so confused where we're supposed to be going. It kind of feels like a mini Disneyland. It says entrance over there. Okay, so not totally sure if we're actually allowed to be filming. I think we are allowed to film using our phones because we've seen plenty of videos of this place. So it was a little bit confusing. It's honestly so beautiful. It was a little bit overwhelming because there was a lot of moving pieces, but I think now that we're in, it's gonna be awesome. This place might be best done with a tour guide because Jacob and I are still so confused as to what is going on. We thought that we were in the Grand Palace right now, but then there's a sign over here that says exit to the Grand Palace. This place is huge. It is so beautiful. All of the, it's so shiny and gold and wow. Whoa, that one's really cool. It's really hot. <laughs> I'm like really sweating. This place is so gigantic, it's hard to know where you even are and how much there is left to see. This golden spire kind of looks like the one at the other temple we went to earlier today. Looks like this is where you can do some offerings, light some things. These are burning over here. Super interesting. I think we're actually headed to the Grand Palace now and this was all just Whoa, Something okay. else? That is the uh, Emerald Buddha. Grand Palace was built in the 1700s and it might just be the most sacred place for Buddhist people and specifically people in Thailand. And the Emerald Buddha is the most sacred part of this entire place. There were some very specific rules in the Emerald Buddha, no taking pictures, no taking videos, and don't point your feet at Buddha. And you were also supposed to be completely silent so you could let people just pray and worship in peace. We also were not allowed to wear our shoes in either. Okay, we are officially entering the Grand Palace. Whoa, this is insane. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole city in here. Whoa! 
This is so cool. This is way better than over there with like all the people. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This feels like the Grand Palace. I feel like I'm like a princess in like a Disney movie and this is like my chambers. This is crazy. Well, I mean, you're kind of close. This was the royal residence up until 1925. Oh wow, look at me go. I'm not gonna lie, I was really questioning if the Grand Palace was as cool as everyone said it was and if it was worth the money, but this section totally made it worth it. It is just breathtaking. It just keeps getting more grander and grander. <laughs> I love being able to get up close and look at the designs on these windows and everywhere else too. It's been so hot out here. One of the main reasons for that is you have to wear a shirt that covers your shoulders and you have to wear pants that covers your knees. <laughs> We've seen a ton of people with elephant pants on. That's because they forgot about this rule or didn't know about it and they had to buy it right before they walked in. And I just saw that you could rent the elephant pants or the shirt for only 50 baht. And that's our day experiencing the Grand Palace and another temple. They were so beautiful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.